Hey guys, welcome back. Luca here. And today I want to talk about how I use ChatGPT as a software engineer. So I would say ChatGPT has actually been a lifesaver since the release. Because before when I run into really difficult issues, I would have to Google the questions. And a lot of the times the responses are all over the place. I have to go through all of them and really pick out the one that I think might be the solution. But a lot of times they don't really work anymore because it's either outdated or you know it's no longer relevant. So I would say like ChatGPT, the fact that it has all the information available up to 2020, and of course the premium version has even more data, it can provide you an actual solution that you may not be able to find online. An example that I can think of already is the fact that, for example, if you want to explain some sort of API usage, right now you have to read the API docs and really try to absorb it to yourself. But with ChatGPT, you can quickly try to get their view on how this API might work and they give you a response easy to understand. And I would say like, this is something like, that's really, really beneficial. For example, if I'm working on a full stack project, let's say I'm using React, and I need to know if there's like a library that can do something. I have to really freeze it very carefully and then input it into Google, and then I get so many different recommendations. And here on ChatGPT, I can do the same thing, but instead, I can ask it to give me like two or three libraries, and then they will exactly give you those. And then once you have a library in mind, you can even ask it to explain it a little bit more. ChatGPT is actually like a teacher, like that you can ask questions to. If you ever attended a teaching assistant's office hour, it's kind of like that. You go to the office hour, you ask them a problem, you ask them to explain you something, and they do that. And that's definitely something that can speed up the development process. And I would say this is something that you can always take advantage of. If I see some sort of code snippet that I don't really understand why they call this function from this library, I can ask ChatGPT. Of course, as long as it's not an internal feature, because ChatGPT doesn't know your internal code, and it's highly recommend not to expose your internal code to these third-party libraries. And which is why a lot of companies now are actually on the grind to make something like this, that, because definitely there are developers who are just copy and pasting internal code and then pasting it out there and making it publicly available. Just imagine in the near future, all the code base for any company is all on ChatGPT because like people copy pasting it. Another thing that I appreciate the most is the fact that it can help me write tests really, really efficient. For example, if I need to come up with a new function, before I had to really think about like the function and then what I'm gonna do, and then what might be the test cases. Now I can tell ChatGPT, hey, this is a function that I'm thinking about creating. Can you help me come up with a function name for this? Like this can give me some ideas of how to name some of these variables. Of course, I don't always just copy paste these. I try to see what the response they provide me and then make my own decisions. And then after that, I say like, all right, great. Here is uh, the function, what it does. Can you help me write a few tests to test the usage, the edge cases? And then it can quickly provide you all these test cases and edge cases. This help you if you want to develop in test-driven developments. So you can copy paste all these, make it changes and update the function into your own names and then paste it into a test file. And now you can run the test, of course it will fail. But as you develop your code, you can develop it in a way that makes sure these tests pass. And you can get some idea from it by asking ChatGPT, hey, thank you for providing me the test. Now, can you give me a snippet of what it might look like, like what this function might look like? And of course, the ChatGPT will respond to you really quickly on what the function might look like. And you can quickly look at it and then make a decision like, hey, do I like this format? What don't I like? And you can ask ChatGPT and be like, hey, I don't like the spread operator. Can you do something else? Hey, can you use a map instead of filter, filter, or like, you know? so, and ChatGPT is actually very adaptable on this field. And of course, all these code aren't really internal yet because you're just getting ideas from it. And then once you make up these decisions, then you can convert it into your own version and then start using it for your work. So I would say that's something like definitely take advantage of as a software engineer. Another thing that's super useful is the fact that as a developer, as a software engineer, like you always have to go into new tech stacks and going into a new tech stack can be a very, very uncomfortable situation. And one of the best thing that you can do with ChatGPT now is the fact that you can tell it, hey, I know how to use Java, let's say, I, but now I'm learning Rust. How do I know what to do? Like, can you give me some uh, blueprints? Can you help me uh, answer some of the question? Like, is this function equivalent to how I would do it in Java? This maybe help you learn how to pick up another language really, really fast. I would say like, for example, right now I'm using a lot of React and I used to use Angular. 
So with the switch, I kind of want to ask like, hey, is there something equivalent to this? So I would, say, I would say this is definitely something very, very powerful. You can use your existing knowledge, snowball the amount of information you can learn from ChatGPT. Another thing that I also take advantage of the ChatGPT is the fact that it's very knowledgeable about architectural designs. So if I'm thinking about designing a system that's very specific to internal, I first think about what this might be similar to in the real world. And then I ask ChatGPT to describe to me. For example, if I'm building Twitter, and I might be asking, hey, how does Twitter handle the load balancing? How does Twitter design the database? Like, can you give me some snippet of like, what are the architectural design and why we might prefer one over the other? Like you can keep asking these type of questions and then depending on the response, you can ask follow up questions to help yourself really pick up some of these concepts. And then once I get the information I need, I can copy some of these ideas, paraphrase it, and then write it into my own design. And then this, this can help me quickly bounce off ideas. And of course, the most important step is still asking the peers to for, for peer feedback and review, because that process is also very important because it's unique to your internal. But I would say ChatGPT definitely saved you a lot of times by just manually starting from the fresh. Like it gives you a very solid starting point and that you can build off. So this is how I typically use ChatGPT doing work and uh, I would recommend you guys to start practicing this as well. It will be very, very essential in the near future. As of course, like you, you can think of us this way, like, hey, like I can write the code, like I don't need these things. But if you have something that can quickly help you generate some of these boilerplates, then like, you know, you can really focus on some other aspect of the things. So you will definitely become more efficient. And in the end, I just want to give a bonus. If you are someone who's thinking about getting into tech or studying tech, ChatGPT is also very, very great because before you had to grind the code and really try to understand the question and by looking at the solution they provide. And sometimes the solution is not the best. And a lot of times that most uploaded questions are people showing off like, you know, very advanced concepts of how to do a one line in Python. And that's not very really useful. It can't get you the job either because no one want to see you do that at work because it's not readable. With ChatGPT, you can copy paste the questions make sure to use the same thread. And then you can try to keep talking to it. And then ChatGPT will slowly understand the way that you like to solve questions. And it can provide you solutions that's very catered towards you. And you can ask ChatGPT to document the code in a way that is very readable and understandable. You can start off with the ChatGPT session saying like, hey, I'm preparing for a Google interview. Can you help me answer some of these questions in a way that I can say it in a Google interview and then they can create and make sure to comment. So the comment is pretty much how you would say it during an interview. And then the code itself is something that's really, really readable. And once you have this solution, you can also ask it, Hey, what's the runtime on this? What's the space complexity? And is there a way to optimize it? How can I optimize this more? And all these are some of the best things that can happen. Like these are actually amazing for you to learn and practice. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Talk to you guys later.